So what do you reckon then? What mirrors would you run on your naked bike? Because I'm pulling my hair out. Well, if I had any hair, I'd probably pull it out. I've been through, these aren't actually all the mirrors that I've tried on the bike. I've tried six different sets of mirrors on my naked bike. And I've had quite a few messages asking about, in most of my videos, you've probably seen the Ducati Street Fighter ones I've been using. And um, these ones, which um, I bought at a bargain price, second-hand ones, and they are solid uh, billet um, piece. Um, they came in Rizo Rizoma boxes, and uh, someone said they were clearing them out. And... Uh, led me to believe they were Rizoma, but they're not. They're actually the upgraded version of these. So they're for a, a Ducati Street Fighter or Diavo. Um, I think they might fit other Ducatis as well. Anyway, uh, I've had both of those on there. Um, these ones have pretty good vision, uh, work okay. I just think the, the silver stem looks a bit cheap. But maybe it's worth just painting those black and whacking them on the bike. The original one looks ugly as anything and but oh, in fairness they don't vibrate they give really good rear view so fair enough that Suzuki use them and um, they're, pro they're obviously well they look a lot cheaper so I'm sure they're not too expensive to manufacture anyway um, I'm gonna get on the bike now so we can do a little test and you'll be able to see what they, how they compare. Um, I've got, uh, this is the Oxford, um, what are these called? Oxford Horizon, these are called, these mirrors, bar end mirrors. Um, I've got that on one end of my handlebar, and on the other end I've got these, which unfortunately, although they look pretty good and they kind of suit the bike, um, they vibrate like mad. And, um, all I can think of is the fact that the the mirror end itself being like CNC, like a billet piece, it's really heavy, but the stalk itself is has been, you know, machined out to make it lightweight, and so maybe that just on the end just makes it vibrate a lot more. The its other counterpart, those didn't vibrate. I also tried KTM 1290 Super Duke mirrors. They fit direct fit on really easy. Uh, vision's okay, but they just kind of sit in the wrong place on the on the Suzuki GSXS 1000. And I also tried some HJR, the HJR, yeah, HJR bar end mirrors. They're the ones that clamp round the bar ends, so you can put them round these stock bar ends. They're okay. The mirror lens was a little bit small. Um, they didn't vibrate on the standard bar ends but they don't fit over the Kyoko bar ends. So I kind of ditched them as an attempt. And I also thought the style was maybe a bit too rounded off for the GSXS. And I think maybe this shape will suit it better. Anyway, this is total waffling. I'm going to go ride the bike and see if these bar ends vibrate and if I can use them in the future. All right, we need to get out and go and ride, but it's just that like raining, which is typical. So... Here's the uh, one on the right, and then on the left, you can see I've got the Oxford Horizon bar end. So, as soon as the shower stops, I'm going to get out there, and we're going to see, and hopefully on the camera I can show you how much these vibrate, and hopefully these are going to be nice and solid and no issues. We might get a little bit of drizzle, but so be it. It drizzles, it drizzles. Let's go and test this out. See what we think. Okay, it's, uh, it's too far down now, isn't it? Well, one of the things I've learned from six sets of mirrors in as many months is bring your Allen key with you. Because you're never going to get the mirror right first time. Okay, what do we think? That's a reasonable view behind. Don't know if you can see that. It's going to be interesting to see what this is actually <laughs> recording. 
Right, but let's go and try a vibration test anyway. Because that's why we're out here. So, even though I've had six sets of mirrors, still, my first shot at position in the mirror was not perfect. But looks pretty good now. It's got a blue tint. Some people like that, some people don't. So you can see already straight away. So can you see how vibrate that is? I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't. It's not engine vibration. Look, I'll pull the clutch in. That's just the road vibration going through the handlebars. You can see it's shaking all over the place. What are these Oxford ones like in comparison? They've been doing some road work here. It's been a bit gravelly. Had a bit of a moment the other day with a bit of gravel around here. Anyway, let's let's just go back round the roundabout. Just take it easy. See what. Just keep looking at the mirror as well. Those Oxford ones, despite they look almost a bit shaky, but the image is totally clear in it. Whereas the uh, ones on the right, although they're shaky, I mean. The, the ones on the right are shaky and blurry. So the car back there is real blurry, but in these Oxford ones, it's absolutely crystal clear. I wonder what, I've got no idea what this is gonna look like on camera. So um, what have I learned anyway from all this um, mirror swapping? Let's just take it easy. Um, oh, some people love bar end mirrors and just swear by bar end mirrors and you can sort of see why if you look at my right hand one you see how much of my like shoulder and arm i'm not the broadest guy i'm kind of medium-ish and you can see how much of that mirror is obscured and it's you know i've set that mirror properly but by contrast look at the mirror on the left oh, if i keep my hand on the handlebar you see, there's just a, there is a tiny bit there, but not like there is on the right one. So I get it, I get it. Easy, okay. So what do we think? The problem with these Oxford ones as well, they have to be fitted with their original uh, Oxford bar ends as well. That's something else we will need to check. Uh, I'll have to check on the weights because I know if you go lighter than stock bar ends then you're just going to be opening a can of worms with um, tingly hands, you know? A vibration. But anyway, I think so far they're really nice and solid. The Oxford ones do come with the the better type of clamp that goes inside the handlebar grip and you can of course flip these around if you're going to be um, let's try that actually how easy is that going to be to do on the fly if we're going for some filtering just flip that around bring it in you can still see something behind like that could can you put it up I mean you could use it like that I don't know, I don't get people who use them really well. Okay. Let's go back down. Hello, Mr. Scooter. Let's go back to how it should be positioned. I think I still need to. I think I still need to just bring it forward a little bit. Oh, hello. Right. So I'm going to have to tighten that up with the Allen key a bit. Now I've just loosened it off. Interesting. It does give a really good view though. So the question now is, do you need two or one? Now some friends and family, they think I've got a problem. I think I've got a mirror problem and they are right but not the kind of problem that uh, 
they think I have because uh, like, why do you keep chopping and changing your mirrors well it's not an addiction it's, I, I am fussy I use my mirrors all the time I'm constantly looking at my mirrors and so I go riding with others I realize half of them don't use their mirrors I mean <laughs> Some of them, you know who you are, I know you're watching these videos. Some of them haven't even got mirrors fitted on their bikes. And uh, the mirrors that they have got fitted are sometimes lacking in visibility. And I don't know, I'm just a bit of an old old grumpy man. I want good, good view behind me. See who's trying to chase me, basically. Here comes the rain again. Oh dear, oh dear. I just decided in the end, let's just get out. It's gonna, it's gonna drizzle on me. It's gonna drizzle on me. So I'll clean my bike on Saturday as well. It's just typical, isn't it? Clean the bike. Go to take it out, and it starts raining. And it's definitely not warm, tired, eh? Uh, let's just take it easy on these roundabouts. Anyway, I do quite like those Oxford thing, but then the the um, the question is going to be: Am I willing to sacrifice my KOKO cruise control, or am I going to try just a single mirror for now? That's going to be the question, isn't it? Well, we've done one lap. Let's go and have a little look and a bit of a summary, shall we? Now this rain is getting heavier. Rain's starting to tip tap on my helmet. Come on, VWT cross, let's get out of there. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Wow, this is a bumpy road. Let's get in the garage, let's have a look at the footage. And whatever happens, the mirror on my right is going. And it's going on eBay. And I'm not going to list it as Rizoma like the uh, previous guy did. But I think most people were wise to the fact that it's not actually a Rizoma mirror because it. It, they ended up it ended up going so cheaply that uh, I think um, people knew that uh, don't think anyone was sucked in to uh, paying Rizoma prices 